Well, now moving on, just what exactly do we mean when we say a common market for East Africa? Indeed, East Africa integration and finally a common currency for the entire region. That was the topic of conversation between my colleague Abiagina and the head of the Bank of Rwanda, John Ragombo, and these are ex excerpts from that conversation. Take a listen. Welcome and thank you for keeping it catchy news. We now want to speak to Rwanda's central bank governor, and that is John Rwangomba, who will be talking us through some of the milestones that have been achieved in the integration process. And really, what does he think about the, trick, the track that we are taking in regard to economic integration? Thank you very much. My first question really is about Rwanda has been taking the lead when it comes to implementation of the common market protocol. We're also seeing a speedy kind of approach when it also comes to inter implementation, really, of the monetary union. Where do we stand in terms of regional integration from where you sit? When we are acting as one big economy, the, so we, this is an economic block of... Uh, a bigger population, the purchasing power is big, the, uh, the, the GDP is big when you look at East Africa as one, uh, 150 million, instead of looking at Rwanda with 12 million, uh, Uganda maybe with... Uh, so we, we are looking at a bigger block. Therefore, it's easy to attract investments in our region when you are targeting a bigger economy than when we are doing it as one small, small uh, economy. So one is really investment, but also trade, trade between ourselves. As we are talking of deepening or implementing the, the common market protocol is, uh, is going to, to really expand trade between ourselves. And as uh, trade, all these are uh, contributing to the growth and development of our economies, and therefore the socio-economic to the socio-economic benefit of our populations. Uh, uh, and that when we are discussing with external uh, partners as one big block, uh, we stand to benefit uh, having one big voice if we are negotiating trade partnerships across. Uh, then uh, again with, with the monetary union is we, we move to a single currency. Today, we, as we say, we lose a lot of money changing from say far to Kenyan shillings because we have to go through the dollar. So the trade within our our uh, countries will be done with one currency. Therefore, the the, the, the payments and, and is made easy and quick, and so the unnecessary exchange losses are, are removed. So there are different benefits with uh, with the uh, full integration monetary union being just one of the the facets of that. Mr. Rongomba, one of the big challenges that could be a major stumbling block for speedy integration is the fact that there is no institutions that will midwife this process. Are we seeing the establishment of key statistical institutions and also the merging of central banks to perhaps have a better and quicker transition for us to have a common currency come 2024? Because you... You are aware when the Monetary Union Protocol was uh, agreed on and uh, uh, ratified by the different parliaments, we went on to draft a roadmap uh, that takes us to 2024 and agreed on key milestones that will have to be achieved on the road to 2024. Uh, so a lot is being done today. We there's key institution that are supposed to be established that will uh, support this drive towards the monetary union, the, the East African Monetary Institute, the, uh, the East African uh, Statistics Bureau. All these are in the process of being formed. We hope uh, maybe later by next year we should have them in place. And uh, the other part we are doing as uh, maybe talking at from the point of view of the central banks, we working on harmonizing uh, our rules and regulations in the oversight of financial institutions, harmonizing our uh, monetary policy. We've given ourselves 
uh, target of 2018 uh, to, to have a uniform monetary framework across the region. Uh, work, we are working on uh, harmonizing our uh, computation of different monetary uh, statistics, uh, uh, computation of inflation. Uh, so there are different things we are working on. So uh, as you would understand, it's a 10-year journey we had given ourselves since 2015, and we some delays already in, the, for example, establishment of these institutions, but we hope we are on the right track to, to achieve that.